In this video, we'll demonstrate how to import an IFC master and also show its characteristics. To access the IFC dialog importation, you can either come to the to menu insert external resource and then IFC file management. And the same tab you can find by coming to import the model manager and then click on the tab IFC file manager. So in this case, I'm going to talk about the master IFC file. The master IFC file is the basis for your work. It's the building model that you receive since the beginning of your project. To import a master IFC file, you click on the add file below the column master IFC file. Then you search for the file. In this case, it's the demo house architecture and I will double click it. In the dialog IFC import, we have the checkbox to import and convert spaces. We also see below what we would like to import. You can select the levels you would like to import. And on the right, we see the descriptions for each level that will be converted and also the IFC elevation of each level. In the DDSCAD story, you can set the sequence to start uh, the levels in DDSCAD. Let's pretend that Afterwards, you would receive another IFC with more levels, uh, lower levels than the foundation here. So we could storage these levels by starting uh, the sequence with number two. So the levels that I will import now, will we start with number two or the level two. Then uh, we would store two levels lower than this one. And it's not the case now, so just start with zero and I'll click OK to import the, the, the model. We see in the column Show IFC the IFC components imported to DDSCAD. In the column Show Native Building Components, we see the IFC components converted to Native Building Components in DDSCAD. We will talk about this later. What's important now is also it's shown here the timestamp with the precise date and time when the last, up, uh, last IFC was updated. Let's just see the eye icon for show IFC and now we'll turn off the native building components at this moment. So let's click OK. And this is the geometry, the IFC geometry for the foundation. This is for the first floor, the second floor and the roof. Let me come back to the second floor. If we come back again to the important model manager and then IFC file manager, let's see the show native building components active. As we can see, it shows the number of the walls and we also see the, the walls in different colors. With the show native components active, we can use the function text all rooms to insert the room number and description that has been imported from the IFC. So we can easily identify where is the living room, bedroom, laundry, staircase, hallway, and covered balcony, and also the bath. Okay. If I come back here and I turn off the show native building components, also the texts will be hidden. Let me come back. Another option that we have here, if we right mouse click the master IFC file, we can directly update and replace the IFC. We also have the possibility to update the coordination filter. In this case, we can select the components if if we don't want to see, uh, for instance, the facilities elements like furniture or plumbing fire protection. If I click OK, these elements are also hidden in my model. Now let's see the result in 3D. I will select the, the 3D for, I will select the 3D for the first floor in the render mode. So I can change the, represent, the, the 3D representation like this. So this is the representation for the 
show IFC. Okay, so this is the traditional view that you will use most of the time. But in some cases, you would like to use the show native building components. And with this uh, option active, we can make use of the visualization filter. For instance, we can make an analysis of the building zones, U-value analysis, or specific room heat load. In this case, I will activate the U-value analysis and also make it transparent. So we can easily identify the U-value for each element. 